Target 12 investigators exclusive. The signature scandal swirling around the Sabina Matos campaign has grown. We're learning several people in Newport dispute signing nomination papers for the congressional candidate. Target 12 investigator Tim White broke the story on WPRI.com and is here now with the exclusive details. A candidate needs 500 certified signatures to make the ballot, but several people tell me they never signed the document despite their signatures appearing on Matos's nomination papers. Christopher Roy's name appeared on nomination papers for congressional candidate and Rhode Island Lieutenant Governor Sabina Matos submitted to Newport City Hall last week. When Target 12 texted him an image of the document, Roy replied, no, that is not my signature. It was the same story for LeJourney King of Newport replying in a text, LOL, heck no. The questionable signatures are the latest blow to the Matos campaign. Jamestown police announced Monday they launched an investigation into possible fraudulent signatures there and a statement Sabina Matos tells Target 12, while it is clear we have submitted more than enough signatures to qualify for the ballot, I am deeply troubled by what has been reported in the news. Anyone who violated the law should be held accountable and will have no role on my campaign. Target 12 reached another Newport resident who spoke on behalf of her mother, Leslie Bure. After reviewing an image of the signature, she wrote in a text, I can tell you for a fact that is not my mom's signature. It's too sloppy to be hers. The paperwork in Newport and Jamestown was submitted by a Mato supporter named Holly McLaren. McLaren did not return a call for comment. 15 candidates, including Matos and 12 other Democrats, submitted enough signatures to make the ballot for the September primary. Anyone who wants to contest nomination paperwork has until 4 p.m. Wednesday to file a complaint. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.